as a quote-unquote evidence-based coach with several female clients now under my belt. Still to this day, I have those who come to me feeling as though they need to train differently to men to achieve their goals. And while of course we cannot deny the fact that females differ greatly in terms of their physiology, the way in which this then impacts their ability to train or how they should train to build an aesthetic looking physique doesn't have much of an impact at all or at most merits just a few minor tweaks to what is essentially a fundamental training framework seen in the literature. Thus, although the belief may still be there that women can't or shouldn't do as much as men or that they should be training differently to avoid ending up looking thick bulky and masculine let me tell you this right now that is completely wrong and the science is there to prove it for example i'm sure you've heard it before but us men belong in the gym on the weights floor lifting heavy ass weight and putting it back down and us girls belong doing cardio and we'll get bulky even at the side of a weight well, luckily for you, science says otherwise, and that is why me and my partner in crime, Grace, are here to discuss today, of course, including a full-on vlog, full day of eating, and all that jazz. So if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the video. And boom, just like that, four and a half thousand steps, and we are not at the motherland little. We're actually at Super Valu, because an extremely tragic moment has occurred in the household of the Murray family. That is right, family. We have run out of white chocolate cocoa pops. I don't know how it's physically possible, but we have. And you know what? I don't normally shop here, but six euro fifty for a whole kilo of Meridian peanut butter. It's like, what, 25 euro for the almond one. But six euro fifty, that's a pretty good deal. And oh shit, we have found the secret to shreds, guys. The slim, fast, chunky chocolate flavored shake. Only 27 euro for this. <laughs> oh my God, that is such a rip off, guys. So I can officially sleep easy at night. And here we go. We're gonna go all the way back from here. So three, two, one. <coughs> Beautiful white chocolate Cocoa Pops acquired and oh my god family, this thing. Let me explain, okay? <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while, you will know we've been rocking the staple done store bag for our gym bag, full on raw potato mode. But my dad came home with this yesterday, full on like North Face duffel bag. It's super, super nice, but he took the price off. I looked it up, it was like 120 euro, which is ridiculous. I am not having him spend that much on a gym bag. It's super, super nice, but I am gonna bring that back because I don't want him spending that much. That's stupid, okay? So I want you to comment down below. When I get the money back, should I use like 20 euro of it to buy like a bulk powders one or should I stick with the old raw done stores bag because after all there is some history behind it so comment down below but for now the pre-workout is in we are about to smash our chest link to bulk powders will be down below go click it click it now <laughs> Anyway, let's get to the first scientific topic, muscle gain potential, okay? Females actually do have the same potential for muscle gain as males, okay? And this can be perfectly seen by Roth et al. 2001, who got men and women between both 20 and 30 and 65 and 75 years old to train full body three times a week for six months, showing that neither age nor gender affects muscle volume response to a whole body training split. But you do have to remember that women naturally start out smaller than men, as you can see by the asterisks in the CAT scan by Bradella 2001. 2017, they genetically have less muscle mass and more body fat than men. So although their potential for muscle gain is the same, the end look isn't that of the Hulk, you know, big and chunky, but... More so of a toned look. Girls, I cannot stress how much this is true. Don't be fearing the weight room and doing endless hours of cardio. That's what I thought as a beginner and I was so wrong. I've been lifting for like three plus years now and the end result is anything but big and bulky, but more so of a toned, shapely look. So don't fear the weight room. And there you go. If you don't believe me, then there's an actual female who actually thinks the same thing. So anyway, that is the first little point. We're about to smash our chest. Here we go in three, two, one. And there we go. A subpar workout, but a whopper of a Metcon as a finisher. So finito. Actually, no, we are not finito. 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, but I have just realized that I've forgotten something for my post-workout meal. So you know what? Hello? What is up, Scott? We are about to do the Stairmaster, but I need you to do me a favor, okay? What the hell do you want now, Scott? I'm just about to go into Super Value to get some white chocolate Cocoa Pops. Okay, that's great, but I'm still missing some ingredients from Lidl, so can you go there first? Are you taking the piss? I thought you'd bought everything yesterday. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to have like new recipes for the fam so they don't get bored of the same old meal, so go to Lidl, would you? Okay, here we go, we're at the motherland, so what do you need? Okay, two ingredients, kidney beans and sweet corn, that's it. But look at this cute dog, hello, oh, oh my god. He's so fluffy. Hello, how are you? Oh my god, what's your name? Stop getting sidetracked by dogs and just go get me the ingredients. I'm hungry. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but I mean, how could you resist a dog? Hopefully one day Mama Murray will change her mind and we'll finally get one. Look, I hope so too, okay? But just get me those, okay? I'm gonna do my Stairmaster, so we have 20 minutes to do sweet corn and kidney beans, okay? Okay, anyway, what? You said you needed red 
kidney beans, right? So that's the first thing. Not a clue if they're the right thing, but hopefully they are. Oh, Jesus. Right now really isn't a good time, Scott. And then we need some sweet corn. We're not going organic for a euro. This for 30 cents, I guess, looks pretty good. So again, hopefully that's the right thing, but here we go. Oh, seriously, no, please stop. Oh God, that's better, okay? And let's just appreciate the sheer amount of effort that's a... Wait, where are my kidney beans? Oh yeah, sorry, I got these. Here we go. Ah, perfect. Right here, welcome back to an episode of Cooking with Scott. So we have some lean mince, then we have an onion, we have some salad, some reduced fat cheese, then we have some whole grain rice with quinoa, two leftover tortillas, then we have half of the kidney beans and half of the sweet corn in there. So can you guess what we're gonna make up? That is right, my family. We have half of the beef simmering up nicely in the pan. I will now try add a smidgen of tomato sauce. So I'll probably save that for later. Then we have the rice in the microwave, so you know the deal. And bish bash bosh, two homemade chipotle burritos. So yes, feel free to try out the recipe. Tag me in your Instagram stories. And while I'm here, the full description of that workout, I know you like it, will be down below in the description box. And probably there'll be like a B-roll on the screen now of like the water or whatever. But let's go back to the science because we talked about muscle gain potential, but let's talk about strength gain potential, okay? So according to the graph by Gentile 2016, after 10 weeks of resistance training, both men and women showed to have similar upper body strength response to weight training. With another study by Curaton et al. 1988 confirming that relative changes in strength and muscle hypertrophy consequent to weight training are similar in both males and females, just that men naturally start out at a higher starting point. But females can easily gain strength too, okay? So don't let that be something to hold you back from lifting heavy ass weight. Anyway, let me know if you try the burritos, gonna smash them down doing a bit of work. And you know, if something comes up, I always wait to take you along with me. So. Technically, I do still have three Halo Top vouchers to spend. They actually worked in Dunn, so we spent three in the Mum Controlling My Life video, if you missed that one already, but we do still have the other three, so you know what? Rumor has it, or maybe I just looked up on the website, <laughs> that Tesco's, the Motherland Numero Tre, has them for four euro. But the question is, are they four euro? And also, will they accept the vouchers? Yes, people, we are in business. Okay, so the Monster Cookie's gone back up to full price, but all of the other ones are down to four euro. So I have 18 euro worth of vouchers. I'm actually gonna have to buy five to use up all of the vouchers. Okay, fam, there we go, we have five. So you're gonna find out if the vouchers have worked in three, two, one. Woo! At last, we have tricked the system. Oh my god, oh baby, we got five. So we got two salted caramel, a birthday cake, a cookie dough, and a cinnamon Danish one. Oh my god, things like this really make me very, very happy. <laughs> and just like that, we are working with one potato for the next meal, not serious. So, one potato to a whole tray of homemade potato wedges. Again, cooking with Scott, some paprika, some mixed herbs. We have preheated the oven, so we just pop those sort of like so, close it up and just like that, we have some chips. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! We have some chips at the ready. But as we are bodybuilders, we still need our protein. So we have three leftover chicken thighs and a salad for some micronutrients. Once again, cooking with Scott, a super easy meal, but let's go back to the science, okay? We talked about strength gain potential and you saw that men naturally start out at a higher level, okay? And you're probably asking, Scott, why? Why do men start out naturally higher than women? Well, according to Bishop et al. 2007, 97%, so nearly all of it, of the sex-related variants in muscular strength in equally trained men and women is almost entirely accounted for by differences in muscle size, okay? So men are just naturally bigger. But if you were to have like two people, a man and a woman the same size, on a relative basis, the strength would pretty much be the same, okay? Especially in lower body, okay? As per Miller et al. 1993, who showed that although women were just 52% as strong as men in the upper body, they were 66% in the lower body. And that can probably explain why they like training lower body, okay? Anyway, hopefully that is your next little science bomb of the day, ticked off the list. But we need to try these out. Have we achieved the crunch factor? Not bad. And we are back in the hermit room, doing a bit of coaching work. The squad has been killing it lately, so if you want to sign up to the team, click the first link down below. But I want to move on to the next topic, and that is going to be volume and recovery, okay? Women have up to nine times more estrogen than men, so they can actually benefit from that hormone, one of which is going to be able to tolerate more work and recover better between workouts, okay? This is because, as per ENDS 2010, estrogen has been shown to play a significant role in stimulating muscle repair and regenerative processes, including the activation and proliferation 
of satellite cells. Okay, as we know, a plethora of studies by Schoenfeld and colleagues that volume is a key driver of hypertrophy. If women are seeking to maximize results, they might actually be beneficial to performing more volume than men. So yeah, that's just a small little topic I thought I would touch on. Now you know what time it is, we're gonna get back to doing a bit of work and then, then nothing. We are still out all alone, banging out the steps. Please, someone be my friend. Anyway, 10K steps ticked off. You, you will be my friend. <laughs> 10 gauge steps ticked off the list. And before all the haters chime in, I am not saying that women need to use very light weight and high reps, okay? Look, the basic principles of progressive overload will apply whatever rep range you use. I am just saying that you are probably gonna benefit more from a moderate rep range of let's say eight to 15 reps instead of like heavy singles and doubles, okay? But yes, as you have seen, we are in the motherland and that can only mean one thing, the little adventures. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, here we go. Health week is obviously back. So the first item on the list is a fake Nutribullet, a zip through hoodie, a Hot Wheels super ultimate garage, a sewing machine, a 10.5 dumbbell set, a cleaning robot, some slipper socks, mold remover, an onion container, and how can you not forget the hot cider and mold wine urine, of course. As always, if you want the little adventures to continue, please let me know, but I have once again changed my idea for dinner just to switch it up and keep you entertained with something different. And we are starting off well in business with the 20 cent aisle. So we have a whole thing of Skyer, and then we have some Cajun chicken breast, 40 cent, absolute bargain. Then we need some light mozzarella cheese, and then a fresh pack of thin pizza bases. So can you hazard a guess as to what we're gonna make up? If you can't, then I really do question you as a human, but you will find out by taking a brief journey through my forehead. And boosh, bosh, bosh. I really hope for your sake that you guessed correctly. But anyway, we have half the packet of the Cajun chicken, some tomato sauce, some more of the kidney beans and the sweet corn. And then we have the mozzarella all on a beautiful base. And once again, we have preheated the oven nicely. So just like the fries, we're going to pop it there in the middle like so. Perfect. Anyway, while that's in the oven, let's go back to the science because I already know a lot of smart people out there are asking, apart from estrogen, why can women tolerate higher reps and more volume, okay? Well, it seems to be due to fatigability. So according to Hunter 2014, women just seem to fatigue less, okay? And while you can see in the graph, this is due to several differences between like the nervous system, muscular system, and endocrine system. One of the main reasons seems to be due to women having greater muscle perfusion or blood flow than men, okay, during exercise at the same relative intensity, meaning that they have a greater ability to clear fatigue inducing metabolites during exercise and can thus deal with more reps and sets than men okay and this can be beautifully seen in a graph by Miller 1993 who showed females to perform significantly more reps than males at a load corresponding to 60% of their one rep max so yeah women are literally beasts when it comes to sort of that moderate rep range but anyway here we go we have learned from our mistakes we have our glove at oh yes family look at that bad boy we have a beautiful crust on there so we put it on the board and then we let youtube slice it for us and finally we add a whopper dessert of the whole thing of sky yogurt some marshmallows and then some chocolate flavor drops and oh my god guys this looks so so good again i am sort of guilty of eating the same thing over and over again so let me know down below if you like these more like cooking with scott recipe editions but yeah a ton of check-ins have come in so i have to tend to those gonna bring this upstairs and probably check back in with you at the macro camper it is a beautiful morning in the home of the potato, but you know the deal, we are out keeping the circadian rhythm in check and at some stage the macro capper will be on screen, a cinnamon roll and of course the white chocolate cocoa pops. But let me quickly follow up on the last point of women being able to deal with more volume, okay? Because this can also be due to differences in muscle type, whereas you can see in the graph by Hunter et al, women tend to have more type 1 or endurance muscle fibers which are more resistant to fatigue than men, thus another reason they can pump out more reps at a given intensity and also probably have shorter rest periods between sets. Finally, those type 1 muscle fibers are less suited to those explosive style exercises, so it might be beneficial when performing your reps to do them more like slow and controlled. So yeah, that is another little point ticked off the list. And here's a pro tip for you. When peppers are on offer, you buy 12 of them. Same with celery. And Proteinella is back, my fam. We have the white chocolate one, and then we have the normal chocolate one. But honestly, I would much prefer Nutella. It really isn't worth the macros. And boom, we are back just in time. The oat cake is just about to finish and we even have Papa Murray <laughs> getting his fix of cancer juice. Hit the screen for us. Boom, deja vu, boobity boo. You know what to do. <laughs> 
Okay, while I'm here, back to muscle fiber type and one sort of bonus point to put your mind at ease once and for all, if you still think you're gonna like blow up into the Hulk lifting weights is that seeing as you are type one dominant, these fibers, as you can see in the graph by starting around 1994, are actually less prone to hypertrophy than type two, meaning once again, you aren't physiologically sort of able to easily explode up into the next Ronnie Coleman. It's not gonna happen, fam. Seriously, girls, you won't turn into Ronnie Coleman, so get to the gym and lift some weights and I guarantee you'll thank me later. Thank you for that. We've just finished a whopper, a whopper of a workout. And there we go. Right, yo, here we go, 20 minutes, three, two, one. Boom, and there we go, we missed 20, 20, but we got 22, 22. Bish, bash, bash. Again, guys, if you watched this far, I really do appreciate you, seriously, but here we go, we're in a hurry. Because the first stop is to pop off, I can't mind on the way home to return this ridiculously priced gym bag. For those unaware, this is 53 degrees north. It's like a ski and snowboard shop, and we have found the bags. Look at this, guys. 135 euro he spent on a gym bag. So yes, we are definitely gonna return this. And again, comment down below. Should I buy like the bulk powders one? It's like 20 euro, but for now. It's oat cake of peace time, and this one came out super, super thick, <laughs> of course, with a whole bowl of cantaloupe for micronutrients. As always, the recipe is in the recipe book. If you're a client, then you've tried it out, and you know you're making all kinds of gains. But anyway, let's go back to the science. We've talked a lot about training, but let's move on to diet, okay? Should women eat differently to men? Well, according to Tarnopolsky 2008, I don't know if I butchered that or not, women have a more glycogen and protein-sparing metabolism, and thus oxidize more fat and less carbohydrates and amino acids during exercise as compared to men okay so there is a slight difference between substrate utilization during exercise which might impact diet okay so in practical terms yes I have come back to Tesco's just to do this tiny tiny clip please appreciate the amount of effort but in practical terms they might not need as many carbohydrates as men and then when it comes to protein your requirements might also be slightly less than men but that doesn't mean you need to starve yourself either okay as many will do that is completely wrong okay because to build muscle and achieve that tone physique according to Aragon 2017 you do still need that small surplus to facilitate anabolic processes and support increased training demand so eat your chicken eat your coca pops just slightly less than men and just like that, I'm getting pissed off here. Attempt number 66 of surely a new world record, finally. And bitch, bosh, bosh, yes, we did break two bagels in the process because that was a lot of throws, so please like the video. But yeah, two jam bagels, then we have a whole omelet with the leftover kidney beans, sweet corn, and the beef, and then we have some tandoori chicken seasoning in there, and then some spinach for some micronutrients. So what do you have to say about that, Grace? Seriously girls, this is also so important. You need to be properly fueling your body and avoiding these fat starvation diets. I eat 2000 plus calories a day and include foods like bread, crisps, chocolates. And because I'm going hard in the gym, it's used for recovery and repair, not fat gain. So don't fear food. And there we go family, we are back in the hermit room. We have a lot of work to do and I think I'm gonna wrap up the video, it's getting too long. But the take home message is that females are beasts and should be training as hard, if not harder, than males, okay? Progressively overloading in the gym. And although they have a great potential for muscle gain, the end look isn't that of the Hulk, the super bulky mode, okay? Instead, it's a nice toned physique. And one look at like the Instagram fitness models out there or like the alpha lead squad should show you this, okay? You're not just gonna swell up into the Michelin man and the next Ronnie. Coleman, Mr. Olympia. So yeah, if you liked the video, please like the video, share it because this is a super important topic. But for now, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop.